We talk about blood, the way it pulls in basins and nails, turns brown when you leave it to soak too long and stains. Theta has lived in this house 42 years and learns to repurpose her memories. Says that we build our veins into the places we choose to stay. Says that they hid bread in the walls during the war and Um Jamel died full next door in the house with a heartbreak in the bathtub. Says that the first one passes and the grief bleeds into all the others and what are we in the end but the children of war? And what is war but a mother disciplining her careless children? But what about the blood on our hands, Theta? What about the people who left and the stories Baba doesn't tell anymore? Baba's hands are weathered from tearing and replanting roots. His palms are the geography of every place we have bled and fled. His home is built in cherished memories and forgetting says that we are lucky. We, the land of opportunity, doors wide open, future bathed in sunlight, children. But the homeland landscape in his eyes lingers as he tells me that I could never survive back there with my loud voice and my Australian English. Says that it's always political. And what are we but the children of politics? And what is politics but a father disciplining his unjust children. But what about the blood on our hands, Baba? What about the white men and the people who left? We call living the war survival. We call remembering it gratitude. We call refusing to weakness. Mama says the sacrifice always happens before the bleeding. Says that they packed all their things in the dark and boarded the boat to Cyprus. Says the coastline over Beirut still makes her cry. Says that it isn't always quite sadness. And what are we but the children of sadness? And what is sadness but home calling us to come back? But what about the blood on our hands, Mama? What about the lives we build and the ones we don't what name do you put on a mass grave? Are we the casualties of war, if not the dead, but the pooling in the aftermath? The post-terrorism led boot identity children. I saw myself on the front page of the newspaper wearing a different face the other week, and now jihad is a dirty word and Shakespeare is irrelevant. What do white men know of tragedies when they put the blood of our ancestors on our hands? And who are we? Who are our younger siblings but the maskless villains of a world that they have never known to not hate them? And what were you wearing on September 11, 2001? And why do we all look so different now? And who, how long must we stay hidden? And what are we but the children children of hiding. What is hiding but an orphan sense of identity trying to distinguish between the call of home and the false promise of something better? What about the blood on our hands? I look at myself in the mirror and ask the white girl to earn her privilege. It wasn't my ancestors who built this city on brawling bones and smallpox, but what am I but a benefactor of the actions of somebody else's? And what about the blood on my hands? The way it mixes and pulls and whose blood is it now? Maybe in the end we all die of broken hearts. And what is a heart but a place to hide the blood a little while? Let it know that there are shades of grief that stain brown when you leave them too long and those that were brown to begin with. And what about the blood on my hands, mama? Which one is it, mama? Are we ever going back, mama? What about the people who left? What about death? What about building graves on black bones and smallpox and all these white memories? The ones with the loud voices and the Australian English, where do I put those? And what are we with the children of context? And what is context but a map of all the places we have been? And finally, the blood pools in the arches of my feet and the borders of my palms in apology, in sorry, I will be better, even when homeland's call feels foreign, even when we look like this, even in opportunistic tongues, even in trader skin.